Uh, so one thing I notice is after I shut the engine off, it slowly rises in temperature for a while. And I don't know if it doesn't seem to do it on the other one, or does it? I'm going to watch them both to see if it's a normal thing for them to run, increase in temperature. That one's definitely still increasing. Uh, this one, I think it's actually increasing too. Interesting that engines increase in temperature as, now the question is how high do they increase in temperature? Let's watch this for a little longer, see how high it goes. See if there's a way I can set this down to it. Uh, not quite. I would need to put it on. Oh, maybe I can do this. Maybe I'll put it on top of something. There we go. Let's watch it increase in temperature. It's already increased a good amount. Now we're above 160. See if that's where it max. See if it gets to 170. Get a few more minutes. All right, it looks like we've, we've uh, I think we've hit a, a maximum temp. So it looks like it goes up by 10 degrees. The other one, they do about the same. So I'm gonna assume that's normal since they all go up somewhere between five and 10 degrees as you turn them off. Just interesting. I've noticed it before. I don't know if it was a problem or normal, but I'm gonna guess that it's normal. But also check the forms and all that kind of stuff. There you go. An interesting thing about engine temperatures after they, after they run for a while. So we'll see how, uh, 
how that works out. I'm going to go and uh, check my oil levels, and I just got to keep on checking my oil levels, run the engine, check the oil level until it's uh, uh, kind of is at the full mark. So I put about an extra between a half a quart and a quart in each engine. So let's go see how that. I'm, well, I'm going to go see. I don't think it's necessary to do a video on. I was just this was interesting about uh, oil temps uh, or engine temps seem to increase by five to ten degrees. And my Mer Mer Cruiser uh, big block 454 um, engine uh, by about five to ten degrees. It's an interesting thing. Anyway, this is Will Steel with DIY Boat Life, and uh, I'll see you later.